guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. I'm starting the vlog on a Tuesday this week. I wasn't sure if I was gonna vlog and then I ended up like having things to say. So hi, I'm gonna vlog this week. It might be slightly shorter because I'm going away at the weekend. So I wanna kind of wrap everything up on Friday, which means having to edit the vlog and actually edit the vlog on Friday. Um, so yeah, just a heads up, this video will be a little bit shorter. I'm currently just surrounded in mess in my office. I'm in the middle of packing orders and I like left everything as it was last night and then now I've woke up and come into the office and I really hate doing this because it's so stressful like coming into a stressful messy environment but it is what it is. I actually ran out of envelopes last night when I was doing the mystery kit and orders so I've had to quickly like Amazon Prime some. They're not the ones I normally use but they will do until I get like my big bulk order. I'm really annoyed that I ran out because I consciously checked how many I had and then still forgot to order them. So yeah, that's fine though because they will come today. I've got them coming before 1pm and then I'll probably do the post run tomorrow for this week. So today will be a big order day and then I also want to finish my new releases so that I can print them. I've done the standard vertical kits but I haven't done the mini kit for one of them and I need to do the cut lines and stuff. So I'm going to get on with that this morning and then hopefully I'll get it all done by like midday. I mean it depends when the envelopes come but I would like to be cutting for like the second half of the day. Um, and then tomorrow, I don't know why I said that, like it was going to be really exciting. I'm going to do photos and listings and just like get on with the week. <laughs> I feel like a bit hay fevery, and I don't normally get hay fever, but like my eyes are a bit funny. It could be like my contacts though. So like, I'm trying to, trying to like explain all these things, like why I might not have hay fever because I really don't want to have it. I know it doesn't work like that, but I've got like a bit of an itchy throat and I'm going to take some allergy tablets and stuff, but yeah. I'm going to get on with orders and doing that bit of design work that I've got to do. up going to the post office earlier I had to go to the shop and I thought I might as well drop my orders off because they're in like the same kind of area so I've done that which is really good don't have to do that tomorrow now 
I think Kittenish Girl Jess is going to release some new art this week which is exciting because I pretty much always love her collections so I'm going to try and squeeze that into this week's releases so we might have three kits this week, fingers crossed. <laughs> This is another kit coming on Friday. I've just designed it this morning and it is gorgeous. The colours are just so like beautiful and like autumnal but also quite unique. Like this green is like a khaki colour. It's just so pretty. And then you've got the gorgeous boxes, loads of skin tone options as well in this one, which is so important. There's been quite a lot of talk um, in the planning community this week about inclusivity, particularly with fashion girls in kits. And I just wanted to sort of touch on it. Um, Laura Marie plans restarted the conversation and it's so important, I think, because all of us can always do more to be more inclusive. Shop owners that use the clip art and artists. I will link her Instagram down below if you want to see like the full conversation. I just wanted to like echo her thoughts really about how it's so important that we're inclusive when it comes to like race, disability, sexuality, like so many aspects of what makes all of us unique. Um, it should be represented in kits and Kidnish Girl Jess is one of the artists who is really inclusive. Um, so I thought that was like such a gorgeous set of art. Like I had to use it and squeeze it into this week. I'm definitely going to be more conscious going forward about how I sort of put my kits together, what artists I choose to support. I'm going to get back to printing and cutting and I'll chat with you in a bit. guys i've got a super exciting haul to show you um cherries who is a brand in the uk reached out to me and asked if i would like to try their website and share a little bit about it with you guys and i said yes that would be amazing so this portion of the vlog is an ad but cherries is an app and a website where you can buy like household items cleaning products pet food um like personal things like soap deodorant hair things um, garden, home, they had so many things. It basically reminded me of like going into like a bargain shop like B&M or Home Bargains but it's online and you could like browse from your phone, it's just so convenient and fun. So anyway, they asked if I would like to do a little shop and share a haul with you and I am so excited to show you what I got. I do have a coupon code if you do want to shop with them, it's Anna Williams 20 and it will get you 20% off your first order. So I was a little bit like a kid in a candy shop, but I'm just going to show you what I got. This is the box. <laughs> so I've kind of got a mix of like household and like some food and some kind of really random things. So I really wanted to try the Scrub and Bobby and Daddy. I keep seeing these on TikTok and I just have no idea where to get them. So I thought I would pick those up. I got a heart minky, um, a lot of clean stuff. I just, I just needed some, okay? <laughs> I got some Zaflora in Hello Spring. I got a dishwasher cleaner and a washing machine cleaner. Some bin bags, cause you can never have enough bin bags. I got a soap refill because I keep ordering these from Morrison's um, and they keep splitting, like the plastic gets cut and then it goes over your shopping. I got a, another Zaflora in Country Garden, and then baking soda, this is so helpful with cleaning. I got a silicone pastry brush, and I have one that has like bristles that are like hair, um, and you just always are like picking hair out of your pastry, it's not ideal. I, I was so excited to find these. So these are like Venetian blind cleaners, and you like, it's like tongs that you kind of use to get in between the blinds, so I thought they were good. And I got some bag tie clip things. So that was all of the like household stuff and then I got a few food bits. So, if you know me, I cannot drink plain water, I always have to have squash and I thought this was a really nice sounding one. Peach and raspberry, I've not tried it before. I think I have places to put all my things. <laughs> I got um, this salted caramel syrup and I thought this would be good for ice lattes. I actually have an ice latte so I'm gonna try it in a second and see what it's like. I got some chocolate, I got 
Milka Happy Cows, which is my favourite chocolate ever. And I got some sweets. So I really like this style of sweet where it's like the pencil with the white stuff inside. And then I also saw that they had these, which are like a different brand, but little versions. So I wanted to try those. And then finally, <laughs> I don't know why I said this to last, I got some custard. <laughs> so, you know, you can never have enough custard. I love custard. I would eat like an entire jar of it, not a jar, a tin. I could eat custard out of the tin, which is probably a bit gross, but I thought I would rein myself in and get the little like pots. So that was everything I got from Cherries. Thank you so much for sponsoring this little section of the vlog. As I said before, if you do want to use my code AnnaWilliams20, which I'll put on the screen, um, you'll get 20% off your first order on the website and the app. So yeah, thank you Cherries. So I'm just about to dash into a singing workshop with my singing teacher. I think this one is on emotion and performance, which is an area that I really find hard, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm a little bit nervous. Today I've been making up some oops and grab bags ready for a restock tomorrow, and we're doing like the listings and new releases and stuff, um, so I'm probably just gonna carry on that later. Sorry about the lighting, it is so sunny and hot and I'm trying to keep the sun and like the heat out of my room so I've got my curtains drawn um, and they cast like, I mean it's shadowy anyway but they seem to cast almost like a pinky yellowy light sometimes. So anyway, apologies about the lighting in all of Friday's clips. But it's Friday, um, new releases are ready to go, I've done a load of oops and grab bags, I've got a lot of oops bags. I think like 60 oops bags um, but yeah I'm going to list those for new releases today at 12pm. My big job today is I want to work on the Christmas in July kind of surprise thing that I keep speaking about. I'm going to tell you about it because the sale is next week so if I don't say it in this vlog it won't be in a vlog before the sale. So I think people are expecting an advent calendar from me as like a Christmas in July thing. Um, I am going to be doing an advent calendar. I'm also partaking in like a collaborative advent calendar but I'll be doing my own advent calendar as well um, but I won't be selling that until later in the year and I don't think it will be a pre-sale the one that I do but I'll speak more about both of those when they are available but for Christmas in July I wanted to kind of play on the secret Santa idea like concept so the way I'm imagining it is like you choose a budget so I'm gonna have like I think three different options of sort of price and then the gift which is actually the bundle you've chosen is kind of like a secret product from me to you um it, it's basically a mystery kit but it's like exclusive artwork um, but it's going to be a bit different to the mystery kit because the mystery kit doesn't fall under like the pricing bands that I'm going to set so I think I'm going to do I don't know if I can do I'd like to do £5, £10 and £20 but I don't know if I can do what I want to do in £5 I might have to bump that up but I'm imagining it like that and then you pick like the amount that you want your secret Santa like budget to be so say if you picked the £5 one you would get the £5 bundle of products um, and the value will be higher than £5 but that's kind of like the cost. And the same for the £10 one which will effectively represent the mini kit plus extra things and then the £20 one which will be the standard vertical kit plus extra sheets. I do want to keep it all stickers, I don't want to do random extra items, I just want it to be stickers. Um, it's effectively like a mystery bundle. 
I just wanted to call it Secret Santa. <laughs> but I think it will be a really fun idea. The art is so cute. Um, the only sort of caveat I'm gonna like add to this is I probably will release the artwork later this year rather than wait 12 months because it's not like a mystery kit. It's kind of a mystery product, but it's not acting as a mystery kit like in the subscription so i will just make that very clear so yeah i'm gonna work on that today i need to finalize my like pricing bands pick what kind of sheets i want to put in each bundle because i don't want there to be duplicates either so if you purchase the five pound and the ten pound i don't want you to get the exact same sheets in each so i need to figure out a way to like split things up but yeah, I'm excited. I think it's going to be really cute. I need to work on how I'm going to package it as well. And if I need to order anything for that, I need to order that now. But yeah, I'm excited. I'll show you a lot more sneaks next week on Instagram. And then obviously there will also be a sale, probably Christmas releases, but I'm not sure. I normally do limited edition Christmas kits, so I might do those. I don't know. I feel like doing the same thing every year kind of gets a bit boring and like obviously not feeling very Christmassy but I say this every year like we always have Christmas in July when it's so hot and I'm like do I really have to design like snowy icy kits while I'm literally melting and <laughs> obviously that's the point of Christmas in July and there'll also be tiered freebies for all the orders in the sale so I've got a lot to be doing today basically I just want to like blast through this Christmas in July stuff and edit the vlog. I don't think I'm going to have a lot to show you because the Christmas in July stuff is a mystery. Um, I will show you the freebies when I've done them, but I don't think it's going to be a very eventful day for the vlog. So I used the same method that I did for my last set of tiered freebies and I made all the full boxes first. I've chosen this pink sort of pastel themed Christmas art. Um, I have used the green and red sort of version for a kit but this one is so cute and I thought it was different enough that I could make it into the tiered freebies. So yeah I'm gonna go and finish these off. I'm gonna end this week's vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you next week for another vlog where we will be prepping for the Christmas in July sale. Bye.